Hey guys, it's a Sunday, 5th of June. This is the beginning of the touristic season in Budva. And we want to go and get some cocktails, something to drink today. Uh, and I thought to, that you can come along. I can show you Budva, tell you a bit about the prices, you know, the restaurants that we like, the bars. Let's not stay here, let's go. And I'll just, you know, sh comment along the way what's happening. So this is the uh, city center or the beginning of the city center. There are still a lot of buildings that are being built right now. Feels like it's a, you know, work in progress in construction. I'm not sure how much it will take. Maybe that was uh, delayed because of the uh, coronavirus epidemic. Uh, so they didn't manage to build everything. But yeah, it, like, it feels a little bit haphazard to me. So I would say that like this portion of, um, of Budva is not my favorite one. They have a really nice old town that we are gonna see in a couple of minutes. But so far this, this is like very, uh, very strange. This was a tobacco shop. I don't smoke, so uh, I usually don't go there, but you can see there were people there. This is a pharmacy that we might have some restaurants, some bars, some coffee shops, uh, grocery stores. This is now the main street in Budva. Uh, the majority of the restaurants, the hotels are located on the street as well as the buses go on the street. Uh, this is uh, one of my favorite streets here in Budva because, you know, it looks really well. It has a lot of the palm trees, tall palm trees and there's just a place here for drinks. I've never actually been here. So we are going to go to the beach because they have just more of them. Budva is not really a pedestrian friendly city and I know this might come as a surprise, but cars here park everywhere. I mean like people who own the cars. Uh, sometimes it's really hard to walk on the sidewalk because it's packed with cars. I don't know what parents with kids do or disabled people because this is impossible and this is another thing that I don't like about uh, Budva I guess like if you're living here for a week or two that's okay and you basically just stay around the beach but if you're you know living here for a couple of months like we did it really gets on your nerves can I have a, this one a uh, medium We just entered the promenade near the beach. So here you can see all the touristic shops. There's this um, very nice hotel being built behind me. I think it will be the best when it gets built. Well, we'll see when. Mm. This is really good. Budva gets super humid, super hot during the summer. Now it's only the beginning of June, but we already feel the heat. Like we can't really stay without an AC during the day. It's impossible. And even during the night, like you can only open your windows maybe at around like 2 a.m. And then you have to close them around 7, 8 a.m. because it gets super hot. It has some decent shops. I've never done shopping in Budva, mind you. And has some really good restaurants. So like if you're only spending time here, you can just imagine that Budva is one of the most charming uh, seaside cities ever. We are living uh, down, you know, uh, where the locals live and it's not, really the most pleasant area. Ooh, they have some magnets. Let's have a look. We just got ourselves a magnet for the fridge for my parents. It's uh, two euros, not the prettiest magnets, but I think people who collect magnets have the same problem. So here we have a couple of shops the cheap ones, um, basically like a store where you can get, you know, ice cream or water. And then this is one of the famous restaurants of Budva called Jadran. We've been here once or twice. Actually, it's a really cool meeting place and I want to have a look at their menu and show you guys what they have. Let's go. have some appetizers, salads. We had the soups, they were very big portions. Okay, some grilled things, 
chevapchichi <laughs> and preskavitsa, those are traditional Montenegrin dishes, and, uh, meat dishes. This is basically like kebabs. And this is a um, uh, patty, meat patty, like a burger one with spices. This is a local beer. Um, for half liter, you have to pay three euros. Rakia, this is the local hard liquor, like vodka, only made on foods. The restaurant is bike themed and sometimes you can see their bikers. They have a really nice terrace, old cars, old bikes. Overall a very nice place. You can go for this lovely restaurant all the way to their other part which is way quieter with a very nice sea view by the way if you're thinking about a restaurant that has really good uh, fish cuisine like some seafood i think they they prepare a really good one Lovely, you can see that everybody's on the terrace. The touristic season has only started, but I already feel like there are so many people in the city. It's actually good because they make the city money, but it doesn't make life uh, in Budva any more comfortable. I don't think that Budva was meant to be a really big city to start with. Uh, you especially feel that with the restaurants who expand, like during the touristic season, they expand like two, three fold. Definitely will find, you know, much cheaper places if you go a little bit deeper into town, but you can't beat the view, right? If you want to eat some fish on the seaside, looking at the sea, this is the only place to do it. And it's actually a really good experience, but comes with the price. This is another restaurant, but um, we haven't had a really good experience with them, unfortunately. It's called Riva. Uh, I'm not going to show you the menu. So basically, they are an Italian restaurant and their food is not too bad, but uh, they have tried to charge us more than the bill was, like four or five euros more, which is a pretty big amount. And I've read that this was a complaint from other guests also. Remember what I told you about the promenade near the seaside not being properly lit? <laughs> yeah, that's something that we have to deal with. Luckily, there are always people here. We're getting closer to the old town and this is the part that I really like. No restaurants, just the boats. Uh, the majority of them work as boats for rent during the touristic season. There are tours that um, you know happen here uh, or sometimes they go fishing. Just a couple of days ago, we saw that the touristic season was opened and I think when you reach the old city center, you can actually feel more like clubbing, the music is louder, like the whole vibe is a bit different. So the beach is more chill. Now we are going to party. Well, we'll see how much because we actually didn't go clubbing at all. walls of the old city we will go inside but first we'll go around and see what other terraces are there hi what did you think meat fish pizza pasta oh uh, no we were thinking just Risotto, some salads, drinks drinks okay something for cocktail is, uh -huh, okay Make cocktail card and um, wine, beer, what about spirits. beer beer yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. 
Oh, here. Mm -hmm. Smallest beer is 349 as compared to 250. What difference uh, it made to ask the prices here compared to the restaurant uh, Jadran that we just went a couple of minutes ago. Prices go up for no reason that this is actually in the city center. The uh, restaurant that we just went to was an Italian restaurant and this is the only foreign cuisine that Montenegro actually has. Uh, Montenegro is not very international in terms of food. It's actually very hard to find something here that is not Montenegrin. Uh, which is fine, again, if you're coming here for a week or two, but you get really tired of it after two months. Okay guys, we are officially in the old town and I'm trying not to bump into anyone <laughs> and to make a good video. But yeah, you're here. This is actually a very charming old town and it just has this really nice vibe. Kotor, the other um, city in Montenegro, has also an old town and I like that one better. So I wouldn't make a goal of itself to get to Budva's old town, but if you are in Budva, definitely visit it. Pizza to go. This should be something cheap. So the beer, oh, these are good prices. So Nichishko, Nich, man, I'm so bad with pronunciation. Two euros, then they have some soft drinks. They have a couple of pizzas, a slice is 250. Which is actually, is it bad or not too bad? Because how much is a whole pizza? Seven-ish? Five, six, seven, depends on the... Yeah, but that's a big slice. That's our place, but oh god, is it busy? Oh no, it's actually not our place, okay. It just looked like our place. Phew, I'm relieved. bar I actually thought this is our place but uh, thankfully it's not because it was super crowded so I really hope the bar to which we are going it's not so popular there are not as many people there and will be more quiet this is the main square besides this lovely restaurants here there's a big church here some historical things Anyway, it's really nice to be roaming around here. Oh, this is the church. So we must be near the sea. We need to go back to the opposite direction. Okay, I think you're getting closer. I hope this is our place. Okay, looks like it, but it looks super busy. They actually have a jazz concert and uh, as you've seen the place is packed so I don't think we'll be waiting here uh, that's another uh, big plus of the touristic season when you want to go to a place that you like that will be packed with people 
Maybe we'll wait for a bit of time here and if nothing comes up, just go to the other less popular bars. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Have a good night.